Hello and welcome to Coding Demos. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a custom list view. Uh, previously, I've already created a video that shows you how to work with a list view, so you can find, you can uh, search for it in the channel, oh, and I will provide actually the the link to that video in the description below. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to learn uh, how to customize the list view. So let me show you an example of the app that we will build in this video. So you can see here, I have a list view and with the custom images, which represent the, the, uh, the country flags. So I have, for example, Australia and I have its, I have its, its country flag uh, position next to it. So you can scroll through the list. I have like a small, a small number of items inside the list. Uh, but you can see that each, it has the flag and it has the country name. So when you click on it, it will direct you to another screen that shows you the country name and toolbar and the, uh, the, the country flag in the image view. So that's basically it. Let's open our Android Studio and start coding. So I'm going to name the, the app custom list. I'm going to click on next. I'm going to leave everything as it is. I'm going to click on next. I'm going to select the empty activity. I'm going to click on next and I'm going to click on finish and wait for it to build up. Okay, so build is complete. So the first thing we need to do is we need to, uh, since we need to add a toolbar, so we need to go to uh, resource values and open up the styles or XML file. And I'm going to, let's close this, I'm going to change the, uh, the parent theme from dark action bar to no action bar. Okay, that's the first thing. Now we're, uh, we're done with changing the parent thing. Uh, next is we need to open up activity underscore main. And then uh, let's remove this, the default text, hello world. I'm gonna remove this and open up the design. And then we're going to add a toolbar. First thing, add a toolbar. So this is the one, select that and then drag it to your screen. And I'm going to remove the the extra padding here, the padding bottom, left, right, top, I don't need that. So remove this. And then the next thing we need to do is I need to add a list view. So let's look for it. And the list view. Okay, that's the list view. So select that and they we add it to the screen. Drag it there. Now open up the text and then uh, let's remove this. We don't need that. Okay, we remove this and then I have the, let's add an ID for the list. So it's Android and ID. And we're gonna call this list view, okay. And then, so the list view is the list view is located at the bottom of the of the toolbar. Now, align pair left, align pair start. Uh, let's remove this. We don't need that. Go back to design. Okay. So we have a toolbar. We have the list view. And uh, let's do the app uh, pop up theme. Okay. Let's add the namespace first. Namespace, yep. So pop up theme, and then we choose the theme overlay. Now we, we're doing this. We're doing this because we want the we want the app name, as you can see, the emulator to be white. White. Uh, the text will be. I need the I need the text for the app name to be white. Because if we don't add this. If we don't add the app pop-up theme, and the other thing is the app, and then change this as well to dark theme overlay dot app compiler dark. If we don't do this, and then the the text color would be black. The text color will be black. So that's why we're adding this. So we're done. We have the toolbar ID. That's great. We have the uh, the ID for the list view. Okay, so we're done with uh, the main activity. 
So we go now we go back to the main activity of Java and then we initialize uh, these views. So we have toolbar and, then, and we call it M toolbar, M toolbar, and then we have the list view. So list view, and then we call it M list view. Okay. So we have the toolbar M toolbar equals to toolbar primary by the r dot id so it should be toolbar and then m list deal equals to list view find view by id or the id dot list view so we have the toolbar we have the toolbar and we have the list view next thing is going to do is we need to set the values for the items since we have uh, uh, country names and flags so we need to create two string uh, values so two array values, one consists of array string and the other one is array integer. So array string will hold the name of the countries while array integer will hold the name of, sorry, will hold the drawable or the flags of the countries. So let's do that here. So it's string and then we call it country names. Then, oops. String con that's one, and then integer, and then this would be the country flags. Equals to open parenthesis, a semicolon. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the the names here, and I'm going to add them inside the country names, and I'm going to uh, look for the uh, the the country flags by doing a Google search. I'm going to add them inside my project right here. So to add them it's easily, you just add them through, uh, you should add them inside the uh, resource folder and, and the drawable folder. So the drawable folder is the one that holds the, uh, the images and icons. So I'll do that and I'll show you and I'll update you later on. All right, so we have the country names, as you can see here, and I have the flags, okay. Now if we initialize the toolbar and the list view, the next thing we need to do is we need to create an adapter. So the adapter is basically the one that holds the uh, the items and later on we will set that adapter to the list view. So to do that, I'm going to cl uh, click on the project from this side here. I'm going to click on the main package, right click, choose new, Java class, I'm going to call this my adapter. Click OK. Let's close this. So here I'm going to extend this to array adapter uh, of type string. So we add string here. So array adapter that has a, that is a string type. And you can see that I have an error here, and it says that there is no default constructor available. So you can see if you can see the red bulb on the left side here. So you just click on the arrow and create a constructor matching the super. So for this, I'm going to choose the first one, which uh, uh, which has the value of context and resource ID. So let's add that. Okay. So the context, we have it, and the resource ID, we don't have it. So the resource ID is basically the custom layout that will hold the image and the title. So let's create that. Open up project, go to uh, layout, and then right click, new, layout resource file, and then we call this list view underscore item. Uh, it has a root element of linear layout, so I click OK, and then I'm going to add, okay, before we add anything to it, let's, okay, let me close this, close, okay, let's format the code. Now, I need to change the orientation 
from vertical to horizontal. So you might be asking me why we're doing this. Well, it's because we, if we look back at the app again, you can see that the item is it first starts with the image and then the title or the country name. So the image view and the text view. So these are actually uh, they are they are like positioned horizontally. That's why we're setting the Android orientation horizontal. So once we did that, now we, we open up the design and then we're going to first add an image view. So the image view is right here. We add that and now it will ask us which image that we need to use or we need to set for the drawable. Uh, we need to set which drawable that we need to use or we need to set for the image view. So for that case we'll choose IC launcher and then you click OK. Now you can see that the image basically takes the the width of the entire screen and we don't need that. We don't want that to happen. So we open up the text again. Now you can see that Android automatically provided us with uh, this line which is Android layout weight. Uh, we don't need that. Okay, so if you go back to design, so we have the image and then I'm going to look for a text view and add it next to the image view. So that's the text view, drag it to the image view right there. And let's open the text again and see if Android automatically added something. And yes, he did. Android added this line. The layout weight, we don't need that. Okay. So open up design. And then we have the we have the image and and the text. Okay. Next is you can see that the icon, you can see the icon is uh, it's, it's kind of close to the text view. So we'll give it a padding. So to do that, go back to text and go back to the image right here, uh, format the code, and then we're going to add Android padding and we'll start with 5dp. Oops, 5dp. If you go back to design, all right, so we, there is a space between uh, there is a space between the image and the edge of the screen, and from the top, on the left, between the text view and the and from, from the surrounding area. So it should be fine. So 5dp is uh, uh, is okay for the padding. Next is I'm going to change the style for the text view. Now, if we open up the app again, you can see the text style is a bit different than the default one. So let's do that. So open up text and then you look for the text view we have over here and we're going to give it Android text appearance and then we do uh, text appearance How did I spell that correctly appearance yep and we'll look for okay we choose this text appearance dot app compact dot title that's the one we needed Format the code, go back to design. All right, so we have the text uh, fully uh, fully changed. That's great. So now we're done with the list view part, list view layout. Now we'll go back to the main adapter, my adapter, right here. So for the super, the, the super method inside the constructor, we'll change the resource. Instead of just resource, we're gonna give it the actual layout that we've just created. So it's r.layout and dot list view item. So we have the resource file set right here. Next is we need to create uh, the we need to define so we need to define the uh, things sorry we need to define the the country names a value that will hold the country name and the flags so that we can easily pass them through the constructor and we can set it immediately in the in the list view here. Uh, so let's do that. Okay, we'll start with string uh, string array, and we call it names, and then integer array, and then we call it flags. Right. Now I'm gonna take this. No, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna initialize them inside the constructor here. So for that, I'm going to create string array. Then you're just going to call this, let's say, country names, 
don't worry, they won't conf they won't have any conflict between these and the other ones. And the other one is the other value is integer array, and that will be uh, let's say country flags, right? All right. So inside inside the constructor, my data constructor here, I'm gonna do something like this. So this dot names equals to uh, country names, and this dot flags. I'm setting the values equals to country uh, flags, and then I forgot to add the the context. So we do that context. I'm gonna call it and context. So here I'm gonna do this dot uh, m contacts equals to contacts. All right. So we have the adapter here. We've set the layout file, and we've initialized its values to the country names here. All right. So we have the adapter. Next thing we need to do is we need to uh, override a method called on uh, get view on get sorry on get view okay first is get count okay get count uh, what does it do is basically it returns it returns the the size of the item inside the list so the size will be names dot min okay next thing is we need to override another method and that is called get view so get view is the method that we will be working with in order to set the values to its appropriate views. Okay, so it has the position, it asks for a position, so it, it provides us with position, convert view, and the view group. So the position is the position that the, the reference that we can use to access the value inside the, to set the value uh, for the view. And then the view, uh, the view convert view. The, this view is the one that represents the each row inside the list, or the specific row inside the list. And the view group is is the plane that we have right here. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to inflate the layout, the layout that we've just created, which is the list view underscore item. So to do that, we're going to do we're going to say a uh, layout inflator. Layout inflator. I'm gonna call it M, uh, M inflator, and this is equal to. We're going to cast this to layout inflator, and then we do uh, M context dot get system service, and then this would be layout inflator service. Yes, that's the one. Let me just add it in a new line, so that will be easy for you guys to, to see it. So we have an inflator. Okay, next thing we do is we need to take this convert view, convert view equals to m inflator dot inflate. Now we need to inflate the layout, but you can see when we try to inflate the layout, we're provided with so many methods or options that we can choose from. So the one we're going to choose is uh, it has three values. One is resource. I'm not sure why it sh doesn't show the full screen here. Oh, okay, I can drag it here. All right. So you, you can see there is an option with uh, the resource file and the view group, and there is the one with the resource file, the view group, and the boolean attached to it. So we're going to select the second option. So to do, that, to do that, the first thing that we need to pass is the resource file. The resource file is the list view. And that's the file that represents each row inside the list, which has the image view and the text view. So it's uh, r.layout.listViewItem. Next thing is the view group. So view group, you might be wondering, from where should I get the view group? Well, it has already been provided, which is the parent. So we just pass the parent here. And then, it, it's asking us whether we need to attach anything to the root. No, we're not attaching anything to the root, so we'll pass in value of false. So you can you might be wondering why Android is so why Android Studio is highlighting this line for us. So when we hover our mouse over it and we get this uh, 
small explanation says that unconditional layout inflation from view adapter should use view holder pattern so i will be talking to you guys about the, uh, the view holder pattern uh, later on so let's uh, continue right now and i'll explain to you guys but it is really important so i'll cover that in this video okay so we have the convert view we are inflating the layout next is we need to access the views inside the layout so this layout has image view and it has a text view so open up the my open up the my adapter to java and i'm going to create uh, initialize the image view and that is the flag so i'm going to call this m flag equals to uh, cast it to image view because it is an image view after all and then we do convert view dot find view by id r dot id dot uh, image view we're doing the convert view we're referencing the convert view because this view is actually located inside the layout that we've just inflated that's why to access anything inside this layout we need to first reference this convert view which we did right here next we need to do text view text view m uh, m name equals to uh, text view convert view dot find view by id r dot id dot text view okay so i have i have the image view and i have the text view that's great next thing we need to do is uh, we have the image view we have the name we set uh, now we start to set the value for the image view and the text view so we do that like this m flag dot set image resource that would be uh, country flags sorry so the flags then we pass the position to get the exact value and we'll do the same thing for the the country name so m name dot set text and then we do uh, names and then we put we pass the position oops what did i do here position that's right and then in the return statement or we'll return the convert view okay so now it seems that we have seems that we've done we've completed the initialization for the image view the text view and we set the values so it should be fine but wait a minute you can see that we haven't covered the thing why uh, we are having this uh, you can see error kind of thing right so to uh, let me explain why we're having this now when we try to let's say open up the emulator now let's put it on the side great but if you scroll in the list view it seems that it scrolls perfectly right okay that's good but it's, it's uh, if there are certain things that you need to do to make your list view scroll smoothly one of the things is and that's what is uh, recommending Android Studio for us to do it which is the view holder so before I cover view holder first I need to do is we need to check for something now since we're inflating the layout and we're setting the flags the app the app might work but if let's say you have a huge list of items you have uh, items sorry you have a list that is that has a huge number of items you 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 will actually notice lagging when you scroll from top to bottom why because there are a few things that you need to uh, consider when working with list view and that's the first thing is you need to check first thing you do is you need to check if the convert view equals to no right if the convert view is equal to null, then I'm gonna do this. Okay, let me explain. 
So we have the convert view. So the first thing we need to do is the first state usually the view is null. So you can see when we did this check, the error gone. So let me explain. So first we've checked whether the convert view is null. So the convert view, as I've mentioned, is the one that holds the layout inflator. Sorry, it holds the layout that we're trying to inflate. So we've checked if it's null, then inflate the layout, and then uh, look for the image view and look for the image view through the convert view here and look for it through the ID and then you set the value and it seems that everything is working fine. But another thing is missing is we need to do something called view holder. So let me explain. Now when we inflate the layout, when we check if convert uh, if the convert view equals to null, we inflate the layout should so that means we're recycling the layout, right? If let's say, what I mean is when we scroll through the list view, the items are actually recycled. Which, that's, what, uh, that's exactly what we're doing right here. But there's another thing that we need to consider, which is the view holder. So let me, let me show you, let me show you something. Now let's open up the Another tab here, and it says the view holder. So based on the documentation, what is when exactly do we need to use a view holder? So it says that here, your code might call find view by ID, which is that's exactly what we call right here, find view by ID, uh, right here. Yes, find view by ID. That's great. So your code might call find view by ID frequently during the scrolling of list view, that's right, which can slow down performance. Uh -huh. That's the, you need to put like double lines under this statement, which can show, oh, sorry, which can slow down performance, even when the adapter returns an inflated view for recycling. We are right now inflating the, the layout, which we've just done right here, but that is still not enough. So you still need to look up the elements and update them. And that's what we did. We are looking up the elements, which is the five view ID, and then we're setting the values, which we did right here. Now, a way around repeated use of five view ID is to use a view holder design pattern. And that's exactly what we do right now. So a view holder pattern, it's a static class view holder, you can name it anything you want, but it's actually a good practice to just name it view holder. So the view holder will have the views that you just the views that you want to inflate inside that custom layout. So in our case, we have two views. And let's open up the list view item. We have two views. We have the image view and the text view. So we'll inflate that. So the, sorry, these are the views that we need to inflate. So to do that. To do that, let's go, uh, okay, this is the parentheses for closing the get view, so outside of that, we'll create static class, and we, sorry, class, and then we call it view holder, uh, holder, open parentheses. So inside this class view holder, we'll go to call image view, and that is the flag, m flag, and text view, and that is M name. Great. Now, let's initialize the view holder. So it's view holder M, oops, view holder M view holder equals to new view holder. Now, inside the convert view, the inside this uh, if condition, what we're gonna change is few things. So you can inside here the image view we're going to delete that and I'm going to call M view holder like that. We're gonna do the same thing here. M view holder dot M name. And let's, let me just copy this. Paste that here, paste that here. Oh okay, so M view holder dot set uh, dot M flag and this one is dot and name. 
All right. So I have the view holder. Okay. Another thing we need to do is so at the end right here after we've initialized these views before we set the values after we after we immediately initialize these views we're going to do uh, convert view dot set tag equal set it to and view holder all right now what we're going to do is take this parenthesis I just paste it right here. So if the convert view equals to null, we're going to inflate the layout and we're going to set the convert view to this tag, which is the view holder. So if the once we set this, that means we don't have to uh, call the find view by ID every time we need to inflate a new layout, which at the end it will reduce the the memory consumption and you will have a faster uh, scrolling when you're interacting with the list view. So now we're working only with this condition if the convert view is null. Now otherwise we're going to do like this. Else uh, view holder uh, sorry it's m view holder equals to we're going to cast it view holder and convert view dot get Tag. So if the convert view is null, then I'm going to inflate the layout and we're going to uh, set these values and we're going to set uh, and we're going to call the MV, we're going to call a convert view dot set tag to this view holder. Now if the convert view is not equal to null, then I'm just going to call this line, which will do the which which the reason why we're doing this so that we don't have to call the uh, we don't have to do so many find view by ID calls which will reduce the memory consumption and that's exactly what we what they're saying right here so a view holder object stores each of the component views inside the tag field of the layout so you can immediately access them without the need to look them up repeatedly Okay, so first you need to create a class to hold your, your exact set of views, which I've already done that. So that's basically the, the reason why we're doing the view holder. If we go back to our, to our project here, so we have it right here. Now we're done with this. We're done with the adapter. Next is we need to go to the main activity and we need to set the adapter to the list view. So before we set, we do M, my adapter. And then we call it m my adapter equals to new my adapter. So you can see that it is asking us to provide these three values: the context, which is in our case main activity, the country names, which is the one we have right now, and the country flags. So let's do that. So first is main activity dot this, then country names, and then country flags. So these country names and country flags are the one on top here country names and country flags. Next is I'm going to set the adapter to the list view. So my sorry uh, m list view dot set adapter and that is m my adapter. Okay. Alright so let's give it a run. Okay so the app is running all right, so we have the flags and we have the text view, so we scroll. Okay, so you might you might notice the fast scrolling or no lagging. You know, actually, because why? Because we we have like a small list, but once you work with a huge list, then you will see you will notice sorry the difference. Now we have the, the countries. Oops, I have I think I forgot to set the yep, I forgot to set the title of the app inside the toolbar, so we'll do that later on. The next thing we need to do is I want to set a non item click listener for the list view. That will allow the user to, let's say when I click, I go to the second activity. So let's do that. So here inside the toolbar, I'm going to set the name. So M, oops, M toolbar, toolbar dot set title. I'm going to get resource, get string, uh, dot string dot app name. So 
So now we've set the app name inside the toolbar. That's great. Next thing is we're going to set one item click listener for the list view. That will allow the user to click on the item inside the list to move to another screen. So M list view dot set on item click listener new on item click listener. That's right. Now here inside the on item click method, I'm going to start a new attempt. And before I do that, let's create a new activity. So click on Java and then open up your package and right click, choose new and look for the activity. That's the one and select empty activity. So I'm going to call this a uh, second or let's say detail activity, detail activity and click on finish. So I have a detail activity right here. Uh, next thing is if we open up the activity layout, go back to text, I need to add the, the toolbar. So let me just copy it from here. Copy this. Okay, let me just get rid of these things. We don't need that. And then I'm gonna paste it right here. Uh, let me add the namespace. That's added. I'm going to change the toolbar ID to toolbar 2 for simplicity. And then I'm going to add an image view. So for the image view, and let's drag it from the side here. So this is the image view. And I'm just going to put it in the center, at the top. And I'm going to choose IC launcher as the default icon. And let's check the text, whether we need anything. So bar, margin top, okay, image view. Okay, that should be fine. All right, so let's go to main activity right here. And okay, let me just close this. So inside on item click, I'm going to start a new attempt. So it's attempt, m attempt equals to new attempt. And it's main activity dot this. And the next activity will be detail activity dot class. So during this inside this attempt, I'm going to pass two values. The first thing is the country name and the country flag. So I'm going to call this country name, and that will be country name, and I'm going to pass in the position, which is in our case I. So how do I know the position? That's the position right here. This is position of the item inside the list. So whenever the user clicks on item inside the list, I'm going to get the position. I'm going to direct that user to this detail activity. I'm going to do the same thing for for the other uh, for the country flag. So it's country country flag, and this will be country flags. They pass in position I. Next, I'm going to start activity. So start activity. And I'm going to pass in a tent. That's great. Now if we go back to the detail activity dot class, here I'm going to set a toolbar. We just created that's the one we just created. So toolbar and toolbar. And I'm going to create another image view. Image view and image view. I'm gonna set the toolbar, so I'm just gonna copy this and change this ID. So detail activity, paste it right here. M toolbar, toolbar, and that will be toolbar 2. So let, me comp uh, let me just duplicate this. That will be image view. Change the casting to image view. And the ID will be image view 2. That's great. Now we need to check for the bundle. So it's bundle M bundle. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. It's bundle M bundle. Equals to get attempt dot get extras. Since we're passing data between the main activity to the detail activity, I need to check what whether the bundle is null or not. So if m bundle is not equal to whoa, it's not equal to null, then inside here I'm going to set the toolbar. So I'm going to set the title of the country inside the toolbar. M toolbar dot set title. And that will be m bundle dot get string uh, get string that's the key how do i find out the key the key is right here that's one we just created country name let me 
let me paste that right here. So we have the country name. Next is the image field. So it's m image dot set image. Well, we're asking which method should I call image bitmap, drawable, resource. We have so many. Well, we're going to use resource. Why? Because if you go back to the main activity here, what since we have the drawable right here, I'm actually passing. Sorry, before passing, Android actually uh, gives a unique ID for each for each drawable inside our project, right? So what we can do here is we're actually passing the yet we're passing that unique ID through the put extra method, and then if we go back to the detail activity, I'm going to call m image view dot set image resource, and that resource is basically accept an integer value which is the unique ID. So how do we get the unique ID? Well, we do m bundle dot get int because we're expecting an integer value. And then for the string key, that would be the country flag. So copy that, go back to the detail activity dot class and paste it right there. So we have the toolbar, we set the title of the country to the toolbar and we set the country flag to the image view. So let's run the app. Alright, so we have the list. Wait, we have the uh, the app name shown in the toolbar. And we have the list. So let's say when I click on Australia. Okay, so we have the country name shown in the toolbar and I have the image right here. So I go back and I click on Brazil for example. I have Brazil and I have the flag right here. I click on China again. China and the, and the flag right here. So let me just uh, give you guys a tip on on why sometimes a list view might not show up. So one of the reasons is uh, we usually like tend to forget to set the adapter for the list view. So let's say if we comment this out, let's say we comment this out and then we run the app. So we run the app, we can't, we won't be able to see anything inside the list view. The list view is there, but there's nothing inside the list because why? We haven't set the list view to an adapter. The adapter is the one that holds the data. Please remember that, guys. The adapter is the one that holds the data, and the list view is the one that show that, that populate the data from the adapter and show it in the list view. So if we don't set this, then we're going to have an empty screen like this. So please don't forget that. That's one thing. Now, another thing is if we go back to my adapter.java, Sometimes we tend to override, tend to forget to override this method, get count. The same thing if we forget this, even if we get if we forget this, but we actually have added the set adapter for the list view, you will see what happened. Let's run the app. I have commented this out. Let's open up the emulator. You can see right? It's an empty list even though we have already set the adapter. Why when we comment this out gives you an empty list because the adapter doesn't know the size of your list. So you need to provide the size of the list to be able to show the items inside the list view. So this is the thing that you should not forget when working with list view. Okay. So open up the emulator. Okay, now it's empty, so if you run that again, all right, so there you can see, right? I have countries in the list, and click on that, goes to the second activity, which is there the country name and the flag. So that's basically it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below, or you can actually email me. Uh, you can find my email in the uh, box section of the channel. Uh, thanks again for watching, and please do subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, and happy coding.